Hey, babe, guess what we get to do today? Yeah, I know. Drive. No, we get to take a shower. At I, this point, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what fresh water on my body would feel <laughs> like at this point. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my accountability and my personal journey on the ketogenic diet. As you can see, we're back in the car. This is part two of our trip to Utah vlog and it is Saturday. Yay! It's going to be a really good day. I can tell because A, we only have to drive about an hour and a half today to get to the campground that we're going to be staying at. So I'm super excited about that. B, it's supposed to be beautiful and like 81 degrees today so it's going to be super nice outside and finally we get to see our keto friends today because today is the actual meetup later. I'm super excited about that. We are going to try to take you guys along for as much of this journey as possible. And because it is so early in the morning, we're just getting on the road. Obviously, we haven't had anything to eat yet today, but we do have our, both of us have our electrolyte drinks. And we I have, have the pretty pink one. <laughs> and we will have those on the road this morning so that we at least don't get dehydrated so we're good to go with that we will see you probably when we get to the campground or maybe when we get to keto chow i'm not sure yet we'll see you guys soon guys we have arrived at mountain shadow rv park in draper utah mike just got done checking us in so the people that are in our site have not moved yet they're still here oh great so I mean, they have to be out in 15 minutes so we're sitting tight right here until it's time to get in oh boy it is 11.40 and our check-in time was noon, so I guess those people are waiting until the last minute to move. We just arrived at Keto Chow and this is the view from their parking lot. That is crazy. I know that this video is not going to do it justice because it's amazing. There's also some like a smoke in the air which is making it so it's not super clear. I think they said it was from some fires in Canada. And then there's the front of the building. We're getting ready to head in. All of these pots are filled with pumpkin sausage soup. Oh my gosh. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm super excited to do that. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. You guys know how much I love peanut butter, and they have these bars here that Holly made. They're like crunchy peanut butter with chocolate on top. Oh my gosh. I have no words. I could eat the whole pan. And you guys wanna see how big the pan is? Let's look. This is how big the pan is. I could eat the whole thing. I only do things that are complicated and I only teach about things that I'm bad at, which is why I teach weight loss. Because I've not been naturally good at that in my life. And, um, but once upon a time, if you don't know me, a little of my backstory, um, I have lost over 100 pounds. Oh. 
Hey guys. And welcome to sitting around the campfire with Mike and Dawn. Yeah. No, that's not what it is? No. Sorry, we have kind of slacked off a little bit with this whole vlogging thing. When you're traveling like this and you're enjoying your time with friends and you're like sightseeing, sometimes you just don't necessarily think about taking out the camera in the moment and recording it. So I haven't been super great about that. I recorded yesterday when we arrived at Keto Chow and I recorded a little bit of the food and then that was just kind of it. So I'm just going to tell you real quick that when we got to Keto Chow yesterday, we did a tour of the facility. Lynette gave us a really nice tour and showed us the building. I, for one, was surprised at how big Keto Chow actually is. Yeah, so we talked about that because, you know, you asked me if I had like this preconceived notion or idea of Keto Chow and I did, I thought to myself, it's probably a very small facility. And it was about double the size of what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and they're expanding right and, now. And they have a lot more employees than I anticipated. When mm -hmm. I asked Lynette how many people were employed there and she told us, I was like, holy cow, that's a lot of people. Yeah. So I was shocked. Yeah. yeah, so she just showed us where everything happens. You know, the whole supply, where they keep everything, how they fulfill orders, customer service, marketing. It was really, really cool. And it's very organized. So, it, you know, obviously it's not like a a manufacturing facility. It's not like a, a, a plant like Yeah, it's I just work. distribution. So it's very clean, but it's mm -hmm. very well put together. It's very well organized. It's meticulous, um, yeah. So, you know, obviously the bears are, you know, they know what they're doing. They're good at what they do. And uh, Keto Chow is a very nice, it's a very nice little business. Right. And Don even joked about I if I lived there. here, I'd I would definitely there. be totally working work there. there. Yeah. yeah. So Lynette was so kind. She put some swag bags together for us. And let me tell you guys, these bags, I'm going to show you. They weigh about 20 pounds a piece. Has to be at least 20 pounds a piece. Yeah, when we got there, right, we start the tour. And she says, oh, by the way, I have something for you both. Okay, guys, look, I helped on with this channel. I sit in like now and give you a couple comments. This is Dawn's channel. Right, it's Dawn Does it's my Keto. my channel. Oh. It's not Mike and Dawn Do Keto. It's not Dawn Does Keto and Mike's Keto Flexible. It's not any of that. But she still went out of her way and she yeah. got us both swag bags. Yeah. And I thought that was cool because I honestly, I mean, I just don't think about myself as being, this is being my channel, but she I guess did to a a, degree it is. In here, I mean, I'm telling you guys, this bag is huge and I'm not going to show you all of it because there's like a ton of keto chow in here. But in each of our bags, she put a big bag of whatever our favorites were. So, so like mine is chocolate. So I got the giant bag of chocolate. Yeah. And mine is strawberry cheesecake. So I got a giant bag yeah. of strawberry cheesecake. And, and that's that not. That itself would have been great. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd have been like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Who's, who's, you know, we didn't go there looking for free handouts, but I mean. But I'm going to take them. Well, I mean, but this is great. And it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, look, don't, you're what, an, an affiliate, right? So, yes. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, I get it. It makes sense, but they really went over the top and it was so nice of them to do that. Yeah, so we also got some cool Keto Chow blender bottles. Which we can use those. And that's, you know, what was nice about that is we have an odd number of keto chow bo uh, shaker bottles. Mm -hmm. And so we needed at least one more. To make it even To make for it even us. so that we could both have, you know, two, three, four, whatever. Uh, they gave us a lot more than that. So now we can make like a hundred shakes. It's right. crazy. <laughs> we each got a large bottle of the electrolyte tablets, capsules. And those are the new, are those This the is new, the new formula. New formula yep. Yeah. We each got an electrolyte drops like gift set. It comes with the daily minerals that are in here. It has fasting drops. Didn't know there was such a thing as fasting. Yeah, it has drops. magnesium drops, which are great. And the electrolyte drops. And the electro and a small thing of electrolyte drops. So we each got one of those. I got a card that says, Dawn, thank you for all that you do, Lynette and all of your friends at Keto Chow. So that was very cool. We each got a deck of cards that has a joker that's Chris Bear's face. Very that... appropriate. <laughs> and, the, and and then guys, I just, I can't tell you. And then a lot of the individual packets of Keto Chow. I mean, I can't flavors. even tell you. Yeah. We each have so much. It's crazy. Yeah. So, so that, that was really nice of them to do that. I mean, they, again, they, they treated us really well. Yeah. Over the top, friendly can't say thank you enough. Yeah, so then it came time we ate mostly the pumpkin sausage soup. They did a lot of that. And then they had like a couple different kinds of meats. They had some berries. I'm trying to think of what else there was. Uh, one of the other uh, guests that attended the, the meetup brought some 
like sausage. sausage. There was broccoli salad. There was like a cauliflower potato salad. So we ate and that was wonderful. Then it came time for the actual live. Suddenly Chris Bear sp springs on me. Hey Don, do you want to go up and introduce yourself and kind of like be the opening act? And I'm like, I didn't know what that meant, but I'll go up and introduce Kim Howerton. That's fine. I can do that. So I went up and did that. And if I can, I'll insert a, a clip of that short little intro you know that I did such a great job doing um, right here we have a special guest star tonight guest star Don does keto traveled here surprisingly for us and we're gonna have her come up to the front and just kind of introduce herself tell people where they can find her hold on you gotta take this microphone with you well, you were following me I <laughs> Do you want me to introduce Kim when I'm done? What's that? Do you want me to introduce Kim sure. when I'm done? Okay. Oh, there you go. Hi everybody. We're so happy you guys are here. Welcome tonight's welcome to tonight's live. My name is Dawn, as Chris said. My channel is Dawn Does Keto. And we traveled here from Ohio. Took us three days pulling a camper. So it was a joy. <laughs> And um, again, we're just happy you guys are here. And again, I have this name tag on, but there's somebody here who doesn't need a name tag. And she's gonna be speaking to you all tonight. And her name is Kim Howerton. So let's give her a big round of applause. But you got free pub on that one. Yeah. The whole Dawn Does Keto, you know, got free pub on it. And that was kind of cool. So then of course, Kim Howerton did her talk, which was wonderful. And if you are interested in watching that, you can go watch it. It's free live on the Keto Chow YouTube page. So that's there. And then afterwards, we all just kind of stood around and chit chatted for a while and then slowly like just dispersed and went home. And we got here last night and we were just kind of tired just from, we did travel yesterday morning, even though it wasn't far, but we had to get here, get set up, get cleaned up to go to the meetup, get there early. Oh, Oh, I completely forgot. So we got there early and we had to do... Um, I was wondering if you were going to say anything. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, we had we had already committed to Lynette to do um, some short little interviews and um, some pictures for Keto Chow. So we did that. So I, I don't know. We just felt like they really gave us... The st I called it the star treatment. We really enjoyed it, and I can even insert some of the photos from that that like Lynette took. They're not like the professional shots that were taken, but just pictures that Lynette shot. That was kind of fun. They interviewed Mike. He talked about his dad and the motorcycle accident and how we used keto as a bridge as his dad was healing. And we talked about my story a little bit and I answered a couple questions of how I incorporate keto chow into my life. So real quick while we're talking about keto chow, if you use keto chow or are interested in trying keto chow, please use my link that's down in the description. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps out our channel and it lets keto chow know that my channel sent you and that means a lot to me because and it Lynette, also, I believe, gives you 10% off. Yeah, it gives you 10% off right. and it helps us. So it's a win-win. And Lynette told me when I was there yesterday that a lot of my followers, that I send a lot of people there, and that made me very happy to no, know. No, that's awesome because, look, yeah. it's not about, you know, we're not here to, you know, try to make anybody rich or, you know, but the reality is Keto Chow is a big part of the keto community, right? Every most everybody and it's uses a product it. that i believe in no, and it's you a know? great product so i mean if you can if you're gonna get it like you said i mean why not get it for a little bit cheaper and help yeah you know help the channel out so. and anytime they're having any kind of deal or new products come out i will always let you guys yeah. know about that so all of that we came back to the camper and i edited the first three days of this vlog which took me up until about one o'clock this morning so i saw that i actually woke up this morning yeah and looked at the clock and you were still on your computer. It was about around midnight, so I knew it was close. Yeah, it was a lot of clips, guys. Little tiny clips that we've done and pictures and all had to be edited together. So if you have not seen that video, I will link it up here. Go watch that. That will give you the full picture of this cross country trip. Now we well, got the a beginning of it anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, with this one, if coupled together, it gives yeah. you a full picture. Yeah. Anyway, we got up this morning and we went to church with Chris and Miriam Bear this morning. So we had to be there at 9 a.m. 
and after we went to church we went back to Chris and Miriam's house and had lunch and just spent like the afternoon relaxing and chatting and just getting yep. to know them a little bit more on a more personal level other than just you know knowing each other as in the keto space right. we know them from live chats and being able to do that but it's just different than sitting down one-on-one -on -one yep. and not even in a large group setting nope. just the four of us and real and their kids were there too but just really getting to know each other better so that was an amazing day and it was super relaxing we just i just i really enjoyed it yeah. and they made us lunch we had hamburgers and obviously no bun we had salads there was some like uh, avocado and cottage cheese some like little side things but totally keto lunch and it was delicious then we came back here this evening and we had to do laundry so yeah that's the not so fun part of a camping of vacation a country yeah, yeah because you know when you do a weekend thing you don't have to worry about laundry you just take it home and when you get done for the weekend you do it with your regular laundry but we have to do it or we're gonna run out of clothes right <laughs> That's it for tonight. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. This is day five and it's part two of this series. Tomorrow our plans right now are to go to Temple, which is a, it's a temple for the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint, Latter Saints. Am I saying that right, honey? And it's, it's a spectacular building. So we're going on a tour of that, which takes, I think, about an hour and a half. It's a newly constructed temple. Mm-hmm. And without getting you know really specific but the temples are reserved strictly for for members of the church of latter-day saints however when they reconstruct or i should say when they construct or they re-renovate a temple they do allow for public viewing which is a very popular they said they get a lot of people because the grounds are beautiful the inside of the building is very yeah. there's a lot of architecture and things like that so, so we were invited to do that and we thought you know I mean, it's it's really the only opportunity we would ever get to do that. So yeah. we thought that would be a nice nice thing to do. So we are doing that tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow afternoon, sorry. Um, something else we're definitely doing is Utah Burger. We're going to get a Utah Burger tomorrow. So I will take you guys tomorrow for sure and show that to you. And then we're gonna wrap tomorrow up with a hike. So hopefully I'll have a little bit more actual vlogging and not just us like sitting down chatting tomorrow but a vlog is a vlog it doesn't matter what the scenery is but yeah if, if we do all that and, and we're able to fit it all in it'll make for a nice little yeah mm -hmm. i will do my best to take you guys along and show you all the wonderful things that we are doing in utah we'll see you guys tomorrow so we have arrived the parking lot is packed i cannot believe how full this place is Again, I don't know if we'll be able to take photographs inside the temple. If we can, I will try to share some of that with you, but this is part of what we're planning on doing today. So we will share as much as we can. Here's oh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> we'll share as much as we can. See ya. Hey, Miriam, tell us what you have right is, there. These are Utah burgers. Pastrami, bacon, there's the Euro meat, burger at the bottom, and then tomato, cheese. We get no sauce. I get no onion, because I don't like raw onion. Chris gets an onion, see? Oh, yeah. So he can stink. I don't want to stink. Oh, Chris yeah. is running late. Oh, my heavens. Oh, no. He went to help his mother, <laughs> so I guess that's acceptable. Oh, yeah. If it's for mom, I guess, yeah. Yes. of day six and also the end of our second
our second Utah vlog. As you saw in the previous clip, we went to the Saratoga Springs Temple and did a tour today. That building is just beautiful. It's amazing. And then we went to Utah Burger. No, we went to Apollo Burger and had a Utah Burger. <laughs> which I thought was really good. Mike wished it had like barbecue sauce on it or something, but. Yeah, so, so apparently the Utah burger is like unique to Utah. So clearly that's why they call it that. And it is a cool burger. I mean, it's got some interesting stuff on it, but I'm not a condiment guy. So it has like a special sauce, kind of like the Big Mac. And I don't like any special sauce i mean very very rarely am i gonna like something like that so and i didn't get any sauce and usually i will taste something and right. i can be like yes mike you'll like it yeah or she's no, like mike. my taste tester i can usually tell if it's something he's gonna like or not but i just got it without the sauce so yeah so my burger it had cheese and bacon on it but it didn't have any anything to kind of moisten the burger like it was dry but you also had the bun I did have the bun, but some barbecue sauce. And it doesn't matter what kind. It could have been Primal Kitchen for all I care. It just needed something on there to kind of take, you know, the place of whatever the sauce was that they normally put on it. I will say it's the first time I have ever had lamb. Yeah, that was one of the meats. It had beef, mm -hmm. lamb, uh, pastrami, and bacon. So there's four meats on it. Yeah. And plus the cheese. And then again, and lettuce. We didn't have tomatoes or onions on ours because neither, neither Don or I, neither like onions or tomatoes. Could have used some sauce, but it was it was a good burger. And then afterwards, we went for a hike as a group, which was fun. We just walked and talked, and then and, that kind of wrapped up our day. Well, yeah, and so you know we were going up the side of a mountain because there's plenty of mountains here in Utah. And it was, <laughs> that was cool. I mean, it really was. Saw a few things that we don't have in Ohio, like fire ants that like to bite and stink bugs that are the size of small rodents. You know, I'm going to insert a picture right here of one of the stink bugs. And they like burrow their head like into the ground and stick their butts up in the air and then they like spray. Yeah. So that we was... We don't have anything like that in Ohio. No. So that was interesting. And then, you know, we got like halfway up the trail, up the mountain that we were walking, and then storm clouds moved in. It's been dry and hasn't rained here for like, I don't know, weeks. <laughs> All of a sudden there's lightning flashing in the sky. Clouds are moving in. You can see rain falling in the distance. So we had to turn around and go back because we would have got caught in that. We literally got in our car as the downpour came. Yeah. Then we just came back to the camper. We called it a day, said goodbye to everybody because we had to get showers. We just got our showers. I had to get dishes washed up. We had some things here we needed to do because we leave early tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're back to this get up early and go. So that yeah. kind of stinks. But I mean, all good things must come to an end. So our time here in Utah is up. It was very fun. It was very it's not interesting. Technically, uh, uh, Utah isn't up. We'll still be in Utah tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. But I, I just feel like, I mean, that's... We're, our time in Draper, Utah is yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But anyway... Yeah, so we have to get up early because there's just things that still need to be done in order to get the camper packed up and ready to go. And we want to get on the road by 730. That's the plan. So that is going to be the end of vlog number two for our road trip to Utah. We will see you guys in the next one, which will start tomorrow and will include our trip to Redmond. So keep your eyes open for that vlog when it comes out. We'll see you guys next time. Good night. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.